Welcome to the PMBC meeting for Wednesday, September 13th. Um, I'm going to try to show the agenda. We have Warren. Um, I did send out some edits to the meeting minutes for uh, August 23rd. If anyone's taken a look at them, <clears throat> we could have a motion to approve those. Motion to approve. Okay, uh, Second it. All uh, roll over the tub. You're breaking up, Steve. Uh, we'll do a call vote to approve the minutes. Bob Rama, yes. Uh, Brian. Brian Pasquale, yes. Mike. Mike Scaduto, yes. Uh, Bartlett. Marilyn Harvey, yes. And Stacy. Uh, Stacy Damaris, yes. Okay. Motion passes. <clears throat> Shaker Lane feasibility study. Uh, we just got off of a uh, meeting with uh, the committee. Uh, we have a proposal from the owner's project manager that was selected, two hundred and eighty-five thousand uh, dollars. That's going to put us a little bit shy of uh, the total cost estimate for the project. So, um, Stacy, <coughs> Stacy, since you're re representing the school, I'm losing my voice. Why don't you take it from here? <coughs> uh, yes, hold on one second. I didn't realize that I didn't have my video on here. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm actually just going through the notes right now. So there was a, let me just look real quick. So. Yes, yeah, Steve mentioned there's a little bit of a de deficit for what we needed for the budget. So we had approved 700K for the entire OPM <clears throat> project, but it looks like we're going to need about 1.8 million to cover the entirety of the feasibility architect and design. Um, so I guess from the way Ryan explained it, we've got some an additional um, half a million dollars from state aid um, that we are proposing uh, that we bring to vote at the town meeting to use um, some of that additional money to be used to cover the $385,000 deficit um, that we need to cover the additional costs that we are, we're gonna need for um, this initial part of the project. Um, and then does anybody have any questions on that? Before I, there's not too much other than, there's not much more and that was kind of the big. This this whole project has to go before town meeting, right? Uh, the um, the additional funding request has to go before the special town meeting. That'll be three hundred eighty five thousand, which is going to come out of the half million in excess of what was expected from the uh, the state. So we did. Uh, There's a good story that we got a half million dollars more than. We anticipated from the state, um, and we want to use three hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars of that to supplement this uh, feasibility study. Uh, the one downside is we are not going to make the October uh, MSBA board meeting. We'll probably have to go to November. So. Ryan and I have some homework to do. Uh, we received some paperwork from MSBA today, which we need to fill out. <clears throat> and, you know, nothing's uh, short and simple with them. So we have uh, a little bit of homework to do. Anything else you want to add, Stacy or no, Ryan? No, I think yeah, those are the two main, main points that I have in my notes. Yep. Okay. Uh, moving on to uh, library, any, uh, any standing, Brian? Thanks, Steve. Um, regarding library, I do not have any update. I've reached out to both principals of Johnson Roberts to figure out when we can expect a uh, decision on our uh, lead accreditation. They've uh, not responded to me. Sam has also given me some assistance trying to um, call them from call them from the uh, library's office as well. So um, I've called both principals waiting to hear back from them. I'm hoping to get an update from the Greenhouse uh, International 
uh, when we should be expecting our, our final decision. Uh, Underwater a bit, Steve, I'm sorry. We lost you, Steve. Just to the principle, we lose them completely. Yeah, he just froze. Yeah, yeah I there, there is. Print, print out a lead plaque and, and uh, tape it on the wall, but I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You might be able to save some bandwidth, Steve, if you shut your camera off. You guys just don't want to look at me. Can you hear me? <laughs> A little better. All right. Um, okay. Uh, then moving on to uh, the senior center. Uh, yep. high, high school roof, Steve. I'm sorry, I skipped over the roof. Uh, Brian, how about the roof? How's that going? Um, on the whole, pretty well. Uh, Rockwell is still up there finishing up some uh, some minor works, the, the snowmelt system and um, some of the, the final copings and things like that. Um, the roof is, is weather tight. The one part that they're kind of missing and unfortunately is going to drag on a little bit is... Um, there's a, a, a custom box for the uh, piping penetrations from the air handling units on the roof um, that they unfortunately kind of fessed up and admitted that they waited too long to order. They didn't realize it was a long lead time item. So, um, you know, the, it, it is what it is. Unfortunately, uh, that's kind of on them. They, but they've got it. They've got it tempt in now, so that you know, it's the roof. There's no leak issues there. But they're going to have to come back and put that in uh, when that comes in, and that'll probably be. Uh, I think it's still another four weeks out. So. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Brian. <clears throat> uh, senior Center, Brian. Yeah, Senior Center. We've got a quite a bit of update. Uh, we're currently we've got the documents out on the street through Project Dog in the Central Register. Uh, the pre-qualified bidders uh, now have the opportunity to pull the bid, uh, pull the construction documents um, and start preparing their bid. Uh, we've met with the building department to go over some of our code analysis. Uh, I met with the new building commissioner uh, to go over um, his process and he, I wanted him to, to get some eyes on our, on our drawings before a building permit is applied for. Um, <clears throat> we had a meeting with the planning board about two and a half weeks ago they requested that we had a peer review uh, for our site plan review. Uh, that has been completed. We've reconciled with the third party reviewer. Uh, we have a planning board meeting tomorrow to present our findings to hopefully get approval on our site plan review. Um, there were very, very minor comments. However, we will be issuing an addendum out to our site contractors for any minor things during contours or drainage tie-ins that, that were changed from our civil engineer. We had our site walkthrough with pre-qualified um, filed sub bids this morning uh, at the tennis court site. Um, it wasn't very well attended uh, with the weather, but we did have a few site contractors on site uh, to take a look at uh, the layout and where things are going to be. Um, our RFI date, due date for um, cutoff for RFIs currently is the 21st of September and bids would be due on the 28th of September. What the caveat with that is if we get some pretty substantial RFIs or questions that need some, some larger effort from the architect, uh, we may push it a day or so in order to give um, some of the trades some, some more time in order to uh, prepare their bid and be competitive. Um, if all goes well with that, Commodore will be taking those bids. In conjunction with that, they are putting out um, the documents out to, to the non-filed sub-trades and they'll be combining those to create our uh, guaranteed maximum price. Um, we've worked with the town administrator's office about the resident uh, in the house next door that will be utilized for uh, field offices. Uh, there'll be an agreement with him moving out in the November timeframe. 
Uh, and then at that point, we'll be working with Commodore about actually uh, establishing the construction schedule with the winter conditions, whether they wait until the beginning of the new year uh, to save on some of the uh, GCs and, and, and winter costs that would come with that. So um, we're hoping to get a, um, we'll get our, our results, like I said, in, in two weeks. And um, hopefully we'll have something to present to the PMBC that following week. Even if it's not the GMP, we'll at least have some preliminary results on where we look, uh, where we see ourselves with the budget um, and, our, and our schedule from there as well. So I just might add, uh, I just might add that uh, at the last meeting, <clears throat> we had some concerns about uh, the planning board uh, anyone got them from the green uh, we found some areas where we could save Brian, I think he's talking about the um I think I can help and, and give the cliff notes of what's being said. So there was a request from the planning board to do the full third party review, similar to what we did at the library. They provided a quote, which was broken down to about 10 items. Um, and and thank, thankful to Steve, who was able to kind of um, separate the necessities of the site plan review from what maybe the wants were uh, to get down and, and get our scope cut down to a uh, about half of what we paid for with the library because that also con that considered a lot of conservation work as well. This one, we do not have any conservation um, uh, considerations. So uh, we were able to reduce the scope from Green International. Uh, they did their site plan review uh, and, we've, and we actually sent over all of the comments with, with either corrections or explanation uh, as of yesterday. Hey, Bob. Uh, since you you guys can't hear me, why don't you finish the meeting? Uh, we can hear you right now, Steve. <clears throat> oh, nope. I don't know what's going on here. Can I just, um, can I just ask Brian um, about, you had mentioned the tennis tennis courts over at the Senior Center. Can you clarify, because uh, school committee were actually voting on something for the tennis courts being um, built over at the high school. So the Senior Center, not, we're not rebuilding those courts. That's correct. That okay. Now, so so the, the scope is to... Um, commandeer the tennis courts and take over and, and the, the, the site will take over where that is. So we wanted to be sensitive to it to this season. I know how much use it gets. There was actually people playing on it while we did our walkthrough today. So um, we will not be, we will not be starting construction until after, at least after the fall and into the winter. So, okay. um, but yes, there's, there's no tennis courts in the scope of this project to be re, to be reconstructed to. Okay. I just want to make sure we weren't being redundant on that. So you yep. were talking about among them. Okay, perfect. Thank you. We will have one indoor pickleball court. So in inside the t in the senior center. So that's uh, that's what we're offering. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> Very important. Are you going to have a sound attenuation in there? Uh, there is acoustic ceiling, and then there is. Um, uh, I'll have to look at the wall construction types, but we do have kind of a floor da uh, a dampening floor that kind of absorbs some of the sound and the uh, uh, the foot impact, uh, as well as we've we've talked about the design having uh, impact glass uh, and any appliances that are in there will also be protected. Great. Uh, Brian, quick question. Do you have a list of attendees from the site visit this morning? Yes. And did Commodore provide a bid list for their non-filed sub trades? Yes. So I have both of those. I can. We were going to submit the attendance list as an addendum out to everybody, just for to just for administrative purposes, and then I'll send you the uh, list of non-filed sub trades that they are going out to bid with. The, the the comment with that, Mike, is I had some comments with that. They have three site contractors, and then for other trades, they've got four or five or six that they're going after. And I asked for what's what's the reasoning for only three site people? And it's because they've done almost all of the legwork already to date. They had gone out early on before we started all our value engineering process. And so those are the three that are most familiar with it. If we do want to add more, we may have to extend just some, some bidding time, but you know, obviously yeah. we have the right for them to go out to somebody else too. 
True. Yeah. Good to know who they went out to. Yeah. I'll send that. I'll send that to you right now. Very right, cool. Any other questions on the senior center comments? Uh, member input. I'm all set, Steve. Uh, Brian. I'm all set as well. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Mike. I'm good. Bartlett. I'm all set. Thanks. <clears throat> Stacy. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, um, I'm good too. So uh, next meeting will be September 27th at 7 p.m. And uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for your participation. Have a good night. Thank you. <clears throat> Nobody yeah. logs off. Motion to adjourn. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> forget that. Is there a motion? <laughs> Go moved. Second. Bartlett. Okay. And uh, roll call vote. Uh, Bob? Bob Rama, yes. Brian? Brian Pasquale, yes. Mike? Mike Scaduto, yes. But, uh, Bartlett? Bartlett Harvey, yes. Uh, Stacy? Uh, Stacy, yes. And Steve Moore, yes. It's unanimous. Uh, thank you all for your participation, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.